Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing a covert narcissist let's pretend game. Please give this video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. A covert narcissist, let's pretend game. When you're dealing with a covert narcissist, it is an imagination game. It's pretend play. It's like when kids pretend to be different people in different roles. Covert narcissists use objects, actions or ideas to represent other objects, actions or ideas using their imaginations to assign roles to inanimate objects or people. But it's just make-believe. It's a shared fantasy. The covert narcissist is an absence. There is no one there. There's no core identity. There's no self. It's a void, an emptiness, a black hole, which can be very confusing because then it might make you wonder who is doing the talking and the acting. But it's not human. It's just a program. It's a series of coded instructions that tells the COVID narcissist how to perform a task. So they do not need to be conscious and self-aware. They do not need to have any knowledge of their character or feelings. They do not need to be aware of their surroundings. And they do not even need to have a soul. They can act in ways that appear to be intelligent, living and feeling without any of that, just like artificial intelligence. It can deceive you into perceiving that you're talking to a real human being, but artificial intelligence does not have a self. It doesn't have an, an essential being that distinguishes it from others. And it is the exact same thing with the covert narcissist. They do not have a self. And that is why no matter what part of the world you are from, they all behave exactly the same. They all do exactly the same things because they are devoid of a self and a soul. They are devoid of introspection and reflexive action. And they do not possess an individual character or behavior. They have no individual set of characteristics, no personality or ability that makes them different from other people. But they can perform a set of functions. They can do just enough to convince you that they are conscious, intelligent and human, when really they are not. The covert narcissist is a program. It's a set of data and instructions used to execute specific tasks. It follows specific procedures and routines, just like the operation of a computer system. So they are able to perfectly mimic and simulate a human being, but that does not make them a true human being. They do not have empathy. They do not have access to positive emotions. They cannot distinguish the difference between external and internal. They perceive other people as internal objects in their minds, so they are not human. They're very good at mimicking a human begin, but that doesn't make them a human. And yet, this program simulation is able to convince you that it is not a simulation, and that there is a real person there. It manages to pull the wool over your eyes. It misleads you into holding false beliefs that have no basis in reality because the covert narcissist induces you into a state of delusion to where you're having hallucinations and you're almost driven into psychosis because that is the only way that you can perceive of them. To believe that they are real and that they do exist, you must divorce reality. You must show no connection to what is real and true until you finally believe that they are a human being. A human being with a lot of weaknesses, difficulties, problems, who is extremely unpleasant, disagreeable, distasteful, offensive, and objectionable. 
but it's actually just very skillful deception because they are not a human being. They may appear intelligent and they may have the ability to make their own choices and decisions, but this is not limited to human beings. It's common to other species and even machinery. So it is not what makes us human. And yet, they are able to deceive you by triggering interjects in you so that you incorporate attitudes and ideas into your personality unconsciously using the process known as entrainment where they use verbal cues to activate and provide a timing cue for a biological rhythm to then synchronize their mind with yours. The repetition of words and statements in specific combinations then synchronizes the covert narcissist brain waves with your brain waves, which has been observed and recognized in neuroscience. To where the covert narcissist brain and your brain becomes one, and they can then activate interjects or voices within your mind until they become identified with them. And then you identify the covert narcissist with the interjects that they have triggered. Interjects that develop a life of their own and feel real and external. And by triggering something internal, it makes the covert narcissist seem real to you. But the only evidence to prove, the, uh, to prove their existence is the impact that they have on your mind. When even robots and machines can have an impact on you. But that doesn't make it real or human. It just means that their program has been skillfully carried out to convince you that they are real. Narcissists are predators. They prey on people's minds for a very specific reason, because that is how they survive. By convincing you that they are a real human being. Through reorganizing the information inside your mind, they recreate your mental processes often spontane spontaneously using whatever is available, which makes it unpredictable. And it causes you such anxiety that you begin to seize resistance and submit to their authority and to an external locus of control, where you blame outside forces for your circumstances and credit luck or chances for any successes because you don't believe that you can change your situation through your own efforts. So you frequently feel hopeless and powerless in the face of difficult situations, and you are more prone to experiencing learned helplessness. The covert narcissist messes with the figments and the components of your mind to cause you to believe that something is real, when really it exists only in your imagination. The covert narcissist becomes familiar to you in a close association to where you feel like you have a demon in your mind, but not over familiar so that it leaves an element of mystery. It leaves an unsolved problem where they can then rearrange and reframe things in your mind until you become disconnected from what is real and true, which happens gradually over a period of time in regular increases, additions and stages until they become a presence that you are accustomed to. The covert narcissist creates a cognitive attribution bias, which may cause you to underemphasize external influences to their behavior, while overemphasizing dispositional and personality factors. So you assume that their actions and behaviors are associated with their identity, when in fact, it is just a mask, because there is no inner core. It's a machine that is programmed to act in a very specific way, but it has no power of its own. The covert narcissist follows cues around them that inform them what is happening and how to respond. The environmental stimuli elicits reactions and activity from the covert narcissist. They make attitu attitudes and behavior a part of their nature by learning through unconscious assimilation, which means that they are constantly absorbing and integrating information and ideas, and they are not even aware of it. 
which is how this information and the ideas then enter their subconscious and it becomes internal representations of external objects. These internal representations exist in their mind and they become stored mental images, memories and visualizations. But this is all programmed by the environment. None of it is stimulated internally. It comes from external information and ideas. They cannot generate anything from within. Their narcissistic supply comes from the outside. If they do something wrong, they blame external circumstances. They never take accountability for their own actions because it is all outside. There is nothing inside. They were programmed to act that way. But no matter how complex their behaviours may be, it does not mean that there is someone there. It just means that there is a freedom of irrigation, which can then generate complicated behaviours that cannot be directly traced to their programming. So there is no human soul, mind or spirit. There is no true being. It's a robot, a program, a covert narcissist. They mislead you into believing that you're dealing with a human being through invading your mind. They forcibly take control of your mind by triggering you because that then makes them feel real. They reassemble and recreate the contents of your mind and often without thinking about it or planning it in advance, which makes them feel familiar to you. And then in accordance with what they've instilled in your mind, they then make complex behaviours and decisions, which makes it appear as though there is someone there, as though they exist and they are present, when really it is an absence, because it's a programme. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.